Good morning, family. Happy Monday to you. I'm Leslie Hudson. You are watching another video segment of Mocha Chocolate Mondays. Just a cup of inspiration to jumpstart your week. I don't have my cup today. I just came from the gym, so I'm still all sweaty and everything. But I miss you, love you, all that good stuff. And I hope you had a fabulous week, fabulous weekend. I did. And, um... As I stated from last week, I, I told you that I was going to talk about emergency contacts. How many times have you had to fill out paperwork for a hospital application? It doesn't matter. They generally ask you your name, your address, your phone number, and who is your emergency contact? Who can they get in contact with in the event that um, something should happen to you or they need to speak to you or something like that? Well, let me just tell you a little story. I, um, I'll just share with you. I think it was a couple years ago I had to fill out some paperwork for something. I'm not sure what it was at that particular time. But when it got to that that segment on the application, it hit me hard. I mean, tears, crazy tears running down. I'm thinking, oh, I don't have an emergency contact. Because generally if you're married, your spouse is that emergency contact, right? Um, if you're in a relationship, that may be that person or your son. Well, I think my mom at the time, something was going on with her phone and my son was in college. And I was thinking like, wow, who is my emergency contact? But I ended up got, calling my girl and she became the emergency contact. And she was like, oh, I got your back. You got my back and it's all good. But I just want you to know, oh, that only lasted for a minute. Don't get it twisted. But <laughs> I know as a woman of God that... He is always my emergency contact. Today is tw uh, June 23rd, and earlier on a prayer call, we were going over the 23rd Psalms. And if you listen to my voice, I'm pretty sure most of you growing up, you were taught 23rd Psalms from your parents or vacation Bible school, knowing that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And that's truly just knowing uh, and having that intimate close relationship with him and then with all that feels you're never alone he loves you he has you in the palm of his hand and he is there and he's going to protect you and it's, it is so I feel so good you know I, I, I'm just so excited you know about my life and everything he's doing in my life and to know that regardless of the circumstance today that I'm never alone that he has his arms all around me so those of you may know somebody or it could be yourself that may think that they are alone right now and don't have anyone to write down on that emergency contact line. Know that you're not alone. He has you. He's protecting you. And he loves you. So I just want you to go out there and as I always say, love on yourself. Take the time and show someone else love. And always, 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 always celebrate your life today. So again, I'm Leslie Hudson, and thank you for taking the time to join me on this Monday's Mocha Chocolate Monday. See you next week. Bye-bye.